All right, folks, here we go. Jeff, your executive gardener here. We finally have it. This is why us tomato growers wait as patiently as we do all year long to get that. And that is a black semen tomato, and it's a whopper. To give you, that's a one of the largest cherry tomatoes that we have, and that, look at that compared to that. So this here will be on a BLT sandwich tonight. Uh, if you've never had a black semen tomato, uh, in my mind, uh, we got a little bit too much water. It cracked a little bit, but uh, it, it is ready, ready to go, and it is going to be delicious. So that's that. Over here, we've got a ready uh, boxcar willy tomato. And I'm going to try to take that off as well, although it's, for whatever reason, it grew sideways. And it's a little bit more difficult to get off the vine, but we'll get it. There we go. So look at, look at these two in comparison. You've got the black semen, and you've got the boxcar willy. So that is what we live for. Now up here, I don't know, man, I'm getting like... A lot of these plants are starting to die and get these black spots on it. Healthy growth up top, but below I got to trim it a little bit. Uh, I was away for a few days, but plenty of beautiful red cherry tomatoes. And I'm starting to get some nice peppers uh, coming on in here. And uh, again, the growth continues to be awesome on the tomato plants. And they're going up pretty high. But uh, the prize is here. The first of the Whopper tomatoes are done. And as you'll see, we've got a few others here that will continue to grow and provide some um, nice, nice size, let's say six to 10 ounce, uh, maybe even a pound tomatoes. But anyway, that's the Whopper. I'll show you what we're gonna do later tonight as we put that on a BLT. So here's what the black semen tomato looks like up close. You can see pretty meaty inside. Um, you know, pretty, pretty full. So we'll give it a taste on the sandwich and give you an update on what this black semen tomato uh, tastes like. Well, here we go, the final product. This is why we grow our own tomatoes at home for a BLT. You'll see it's in there with some lettuce and bacon and tomato. Let's give it a try. Spectacular. True story, before eight years ago or so, maybe seven when I started this channel, I never had a homegrown tomato. I thought tomatoes all tasted the same, store-bought, homegrown, etc. Boy, was I wrong. What a difference. Try growing your own tomatoes, whether it's the black semen or other tomato that's beef steak or whatever. Big difference. You'll love it. This is why we do it. This is Jeff, your executive gardener, enjoying the fruits of my labor in gardening. Until next time, see you then.